Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I am your host, Michael Crane. So today, we are going to look at a couple of Cisco 3845 routers that I bought on eBay for $97 each. Originally, I was going to put $31 uh, instead of $97 in the title of this video. Why? Well, for two reasons. First, if you think about it, there's really no such thing as free shipping, right? Everyone, except for Amazon, must pay the man, the shipping man, right? Sellers just embed the, the shipping costs in the price of the products. Uh, the second reason is, I honestly think these routers are a great deal and deserve a close look. So I wanted a title that would really grab some attention. However, this blog is about sharing knowledge and learning. And in the end, the total cost to the buyer is really $97. But it is still a good deal. So what do you think it costs to ship a 20 by 20 by 10 inch box that weighs 45 pounds halfway across the country? Well, let's, let's take a quote, quick look. So we have two packages that are 20 inches by 20 inches by 10 inches, right? That's height, width, and or depth, height, and width. And they weigh 45 pounds each. Uh, the routers are being shipped from Lodi, New Jersey, uh, 07644, and coming here to Dallas, Texas at 75094, all right? So the cheapest FedEx ground I could find was $131.10. That's about $66 per router for shipping. So that suggests the seller is getting about $31 per router. So, okay, so let's see how these routers measure up. Rule one, how do they look? Well, it looks in very good shape. Gosh, there's not hardly any dust on it. Well, they look like new. Rule two, do they have all the blanks? Yeah, it's got all the, the slot covers on it. Yes, sir. Rule three, do the routers have power supplies? Well, yeah, not only do they have power supplies, they have redundant pa AC power supplies. We're, we're in. Okay, rule four, do the routers have a compact flash? Um, yeah, it's got two, two, 256 meg of uh, flash. That's as advertised yes and actually it has an upgraded compact flash probably upgraded to handle a larger 15.1 t load okay so rule five do the routers have an ios version with all the features we want well let's take a look Holy moly, it has everything but the kitchen sink. These routers are built like brick houses, but we need to power them up and make sure there wasn't any internal damage from shipping and handling, right? So uh, we also need to make sure that what we ordered is what we got. So I have a console cable plugged into the first router and both power supplies plugged into AC outlets. Let's power this guy on 
see what happens. Excellent. The first test is it dead on arrival. Passes. It boots. Woohoo! Okay, so uh, let's check the environment and see if the power supplies and fans are working okay. So I'm going to do a show env all or show environment all. Okay, so both power supplies are present and functioning normally. The fans are okay. And the speed setting is normal. That's very good. All the temps are normal. And the 3.3, 5.1, 2.5, and 1.2 volt power rails are checking in normal. Now let's scroll up to the top of our console window and see what's installed. All right, so it's using a 12.3 uh, bootstrap image, which is no problem. It looks like we have two sticks of memory plugged into the processor board. Each stick is a 512 meg uh, DIMM module to give us about a gig of memory, which is exactly as advertised. However, when we scroll down, we seem to have a discrepancy with their show version output and, and the output that we have. The seller's output says it's a 3825, and ours correctly says it's a 3845. So I'm, I'm thinking that's a copy and paste error on the seller's part. All right, so the NVRAM is okay at 500K, and the compact flash is 256 meg, which is also as advertised. Excellent. So since we have a discrepancy with the seller's show version output, let's double check the memory requirements to make sure our router has enough to run our load. So we're gonna go back to that uh, Cisco feature navigator page, click on research software, select the image name radio button, paste in our image name, and then click on search for images. Looking at the image detail section, it says that our iOS software needs a minimum of 512 meg of dynamic RAM or DIMM and 128 meg of compact flash. Well, since we have a gig of, of dynamic RAM and a 256 meg compact flash, we're good to go. Well, these routers look pretty good. And you know what the best part about these routers is? Is they're $97 each delivered. Yeah. If you're an upcoming network engineer, you'd be crazy not to jump on this deal. Sure, the iOS in these routers is from 2006. But I'll guarantee you, if you learn everything there is to learn about, you know, in the iOS version that's in it, or even half for that matter, you will have no problems getting a six-figure salary anywhere. Remember, all the new tech has its roots in old tech. Once you learn the old, the new comes easy. Think I'm kidding. Ask a senior network engineer. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That always helps. If you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them in the comments under the video and I'll answer them the best I can. And I'll see you next time.